Hello. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sunday Night is Not Quite Right Organ Night. Here back at the Hauptwerk Organ of Gartjo Gang headquarters. Yes, earlier today I had this all beautifully set up and it worked perfectly. It looked amazing, it looked wonderful, the colours were exactly right. And then I switched it all on again tonight and it reset itself and did whatever it did last night. Um, so something is going on in the settings of that camera. I do apologise, it's slightly better than it was last night. Um, but not much. <laughs> so anyway, we do have an overhead camera. It's at least working, so you can see what my paws are up to when I'm playing. Mm, but I'm sorry about the colours in there. It could, of course, be that the colours on this main camera are so weird as well. They are a bit blue, aren't they? Um, but anyway, it's all about setting things up in the right manner. And for some reason, although the settings are identical, although the lighting is identical in the room, I don't know. It's not making any sense to me. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. That was a magnificent piece of music. An opening request by one of the Gartrell gang members who needs no introduction. Dia de Mata. 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 How do you pronounce that word? I don't know. I don't particularly care. Crown him with many crowns. A wonderful piece of music. Um, and you can really go to town on the harmonization of that one. And that, believe it or not, was the request. Not just the hymn tune itself, but also to play around with the harmonies of it. So, you know who you are. I hope it impressed. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my little rendition of that. Ladies and gentlemen, everything seems to be working tonight, apart from that camera there. Um, there's something, um, I'm guessing it's something in the sort of set, when you switch it off and switch it back on again, it's it according to the display it's saved the same settings it's all the same settings that were there earlier um and when i say earlier it was just a few minutes earlier so nothing to do with daylight light, nothing to do with that everything is exactly the same only in between while i had dinner everything was switched off and then back on again <sighs> i will get to the bottom of it at some point life is a learning curve life is just a bowl of cherries um, and uh, that's half the fun of it. Life is just a bowl of cherries. Have I ever played that? Can I even play that off the top of my head? Life is just a bowl of cherries. Let's see if I can remember how to play Life is just a bowl of cherries. Spontaneous idea. There you are, that was roughly right, wasn't it? Life is just a bowl of cherries. Which it is. We love the fact that it's a bowl of cherries. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got all sorts of goodies to get through tonight. Lots of wonderful requests. A couple of hymns, a piece of music that I didn't look at before because I thought, oh, it'll be easy peasy. And it turns out to be a bloody trio. So that's going to be fun. So that's going to be sight reading. I don't do trios. I hate trios. There's something disgustingly horrible about trios. Um, they look, on paper, they look incredibly easy, but in the real world, they're incredibly difficult. So, um, we shall see what happens there. I will be sight-reading a trio later on, so hang around. And no, it's not a trio by Bach before you all get squibbly and excited. Mm. It's a trio by a wonderful composer who shall remain secret for the moment. Yes, and then there's another request coming up by a German romantic composer. Oh, yes. Um, again, I haven't looked at it, but it looks easy enough to sight read, fingers crossed. And, uh, and then a few other requests on the way past as well. We have a piece of music from Wiltshire, believe it or not, as well. Um, and I'm going to attempt a Wiltshire accent when we come to that. So we shall see. Oi, 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 boy. All right, we shall see what happens when we get to that point, point, point. Uh, anyway, never mind. Here's an old German hymn. Uh, which is rather good fun. It's actually not a German hymn. The melody is, I think, it's either, I think it's South American. It might be Spanish, but I think it's South American. Anyway, it's rather cute. <laughs>
I have a very little person looking up at me while I was playing that little number there. Hello. Daddy's little girl has just arrived. Not by herself, obviously. Taken upstairs by Mummy. But a little girl, now ten and a bit months old, is learning to walk. She still has to be held on to, but she's very active and she's very fast. And if you don't hold on to her, she's off. She's very active. Hello. This is where Daddy does his work. Well, if you could call it work. She's not watching. She's staring up at me and going, what are you doing? You've never seen me do this, really, have you? She doesn't normally get to come upstairs to see what's going on. We have a very narrow staircase. It's not very, uh, not very safe, believe it or not. And carrying a baby up the stairs is probably not a very sensible idea. Hello. Hi. Oh, apparently she was wild downstairs. She was full of beans. I was wild. Oh, I was wild, apparently. So they were coming up to see what I was up to. Hello. I'm being waved at. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye to the bundle of joy, everybody. Bye bye. She's learnt that. She waves like the queen as well. She does that. Um, I wonder where she got that from. <laughs> She's very good at that. Bye bye. A big pun. Oh, no, I haven't done everything. Right, hold on. Let me do everything now before I forget. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Click. You see, if Vanessa doesn't tell me to do these things, then Uzamaya will tell me to do these things, and then I'm in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, that was a wonderful German piece of music called Bewahre uns God, which means look after us, please. Behüte uns God, which means look after us, please. Um, sei mit uns auf unseren Wegen. Keep an eye on us while we're out in a boot. That's not the right translation, but it's a gotcha or gang translation, and I rather like it. <laughs> so, bye-bye, little girl. Bye-bye, mummy. Bye. Right, that's it. They're off. There we are. So that was that cute piece of music there. And I hope you didn't... I, I, I put some sort of Spanishy or Latin American-y influences in there. I hope you noticed. <laughs> I hope you noticed. Mm. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, right, here we go. Exciting things. Now... Um, last night I played a cup because, of course, we didn't have a Friday night because there was no electricity. Um, so we had, oh, where is it? 800 and I think 885. Hold on. I'm trying to remember. Is that right? Yes! 885. This was our closing hymn last night. It was Saint, oh God, what's he called in English? I don't know. Patron saint of healing you or whatever he does. Here, Jerry, you were telling me about it this morning. Um, but Saint Blasius is what he's called in German. I'm not sure what he's called in English. Um, and it was his day, that, well, it's his day this weekend, isn't it? And, um, and um, at our service last night, everyone got the crossed candles held over their head and something said. And, and they were blessed, and apparently you will never be sick if you get that blessing. So there you are, that's that. Um, I didn't get it, unfortunately, because I was upstairs at the organ. And while I was upstairs at the organ, I was meandering about on this melody, which we had just sung at the end of the service. It's another modern tune. I rather like it. It's another dancey one. So if you want to get your dancing shoes on, off you go.
I absolutely adore this organ. This is the sample set of the magnificent Walker organ in Blackburn Cathedral, and it's just bananas. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, if you go and watch some of the videos posted from Blackburn Cathedral, um, <laughs> where John Hosking is playing the organ, <laughs> some, of the, some of his improvisations are so over the top that the, the, oh, they're amazing is the only word for them. Um, I gather by the, by the looks on some of the clergy's faces that um, well, he's literally raising an eyebrow or two when he's playing some of his things. It's wonderful and he knows how to get the amazing sounds out of this organ. This combination I had here, this, this bizarre sort of metallic industrial sounding. If you bash a few of those down the bottom end, actually, if you get rid of that. That sounds very metallic, doesn't it? Now, John had a wonderful thing going on. He was playing around, he was playing around with this sort of sound. We need, that tremulant is useless. It needs to be a proper sort of big fancy tremulant. But if we had that sort of thing. I, I can't recreate it because it was so good, but it's, um, uh, John was doing a wonderful improvisation on what was about to be the gospel being read out. And um, while it was being, while the book was being carted up by some clergy type, um, John was given it the old, giving it all that kind of stuff. It was absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And it just, it goes to show you, the organ is not this sort of boring old instrument for boring old farts, um, where, you know, where you just sit around and play boring old music. It's not, it's a wonderful symphony orchestra of ideas. And even the smallest of organs, the smallest of instruments. I can highly recommend a video that was posted today. Um, the Scott brothers, Tom and Jonathan, mainly Jonathan, because he's the one playing the organ. Uh, but Jonathan Scott, and his brother Tom, they've just put up a wonderful video about the, the sometime organist, how to be a sometimes organist. Um, and it's all about, I think it's wonderful, I think it's amazing. It's all about, you know, the world of the organ. It's not all cathedral organs, is it? There's tiny little organs in tiny little churches as well. And there's hardly anyone around to play them anymore. So Jonathan, and actually everybody, we're all doing this in our own little way. Uh, you know, we're promoting the world of the organ and we're trying to get the instrument playing. Now, uh, Jonathan's idea with this little book and course and videos and things like that is, you know, to, if you've got some piano skills, then why not go and try playing a bit of organ? It's not that difficult. It really isn't. And don't believe anyone who tells you it is. They're just trying to make it exclusive. Just ignore them, yeah? They'll go away eventually. Playing the organ is not much more difficult than playing the piano. It really isn't. In some respects, it's actually easier, but never mind. And anyway, what Jonathan did, he's playing this, he's playing this tiny little village organ where half of it doesn't work. And he's, he's doing exactly what organists have to do. You have to be spontaneous and ready to react. Oh God, that's not working the pedals. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll do this instead. Boom, 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 boom. And you change your ideas and become spontaneous and move on and things like that. It's a wonderful video. Go and watch it, the Scott brothers. Go and watch it. It's absolutely, it's about an hour long. And it's just, it's, wonderful to watch you can sit and watch the whole thing you can just listen to it because it's wonderful um jonathan's got one of those voices you can listen to all day and and his playing is of course immaculate and fantastic but he says all the right things in all the right ways and it really is actually quite inspiring um and i think you know if more people get to know about these things i think we could somehow maybe start saving the world of organs now I'm going to throw I'm going to throw a spanner in the works here and say what we actually have to do is we have to save the world of organs from a lot of organists. That that's a dodgy statement. I'm going to get into trouble for saying that, but there's a lot of people in the organ world who make it very difficult for anyone to get in. Which is wrong. We're supposed to be encouraging this, really encouraging it. And guys like Jonathan Scott are doing an amazing job, an absolutely amazing job. Wonderful ambassadors for the world of the organ. Mm. So what was I saying? Yes, you don't always have this huge battery of stops to play around with, but 
you know, you don't just have to play the same registrations all the time. Improvise, play around, experiment, and you will come up with bizarre ideas. Uh, where is it? Sorry, it's here. There we are. Film music. <laughs> yeah, you can play, play around it. You know, there's five notes and everyone recognizes that. Um, film music. Just, ah, yes. Goo, controversial. Yes, controversial is great. It's, Julian Cleek is saying, it's too late for me to relearn the keyboards. No, it's not. It's never too late, ever. Ever, 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 ever. It's not too late. It's not too late. There's a wonderful story of an 80 odd year old man who, who had arthritis in his fingers and he'd, be, he'd been a piano player when he was younger. And he said, oh, I can't play the piano anymore. Look at my hands. And his hands, they were all gnarled and his fingers were old and bent. Uh, it, 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 you know, it, it looked like it was going to be hellishly painful to play the piano, but he found a piano one day and he sat down and played a few notes with one finger and gradually got using two fingers and gradually got using four fingers and then gradually got to use six and then all, suddenly all ten fingers were working again. It's never too late. This is the important thing. The bit, the soft squishy bit inside the head. That's the important bit. If you've got that in tune, anything can work. So there you are. There's a bit of motivational stuff to go with my controversial stuff. Why is this not opening? Because I'm wearing headphones, that's why. Thank you. Oh, that was YouTube. Shouldn't be watching YouTube live, should we? Right, now, here's a request. What the hell is that? That's not what I want to play. Uh, oh, that was something else. Right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My friend Alexander Wunderlich sent me this piece of music a long time ago and said, you would like this, it's not difficult. And then I looked at it and thought, bloody hell, that's all, there's lots of notes there. And then he sent me a recording of this piece, and I thought, oh, that is actually a rather nice piece of music. And this is the perfect link to what I was just saying. You don't have to do what it says in the music. For example, this music is supposed to be played like uh, this. It's supposed to be played in a loud, full organ style, yeah? And it's very sort of, ooh, yeah? In your face and very very sort of German romantic. This is by a guy called Ernst Friedrich Richter. That's a very serious name. Ernst actually means serious. Ernst Friedrich Richter, uh, who lived between 1808 and 1879. Now, I'm not really aware of his works, I must admit. I don't know much about the man. But it says on paper, all that stuff, yeah, big noise. However, the thing that Alexander sent to me was rather delicious, and it was basically only eight-foot flutes. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have various eight-foot flutes on this magnificent instrument. Let's couple them all. Well, let's not couple them. Yes, shall we? Yes, no, let's not couple them all. Let's couple them all to there. And we'll have them ready for that. And this is a rather delicious piece of music, played in a very different way. So while a lot of people would play it with enormous, enormous, what's the word I'm looking for, registrations, we can calm it down again. So this is tying me into exactly what Jonathan was saying earlier today. It doesn't have to be a huge cathedral instrument. You can get beautiful music out of any instrument. And if you take this piece of music, slow it right down, calm it right down, it turns into, hopefully, something rather lovely. Now, I haven't played this before. This is sight reading, so I do hope I can do it some justice. But let's find out. Ernst Friedrich Richter's Sex Preludien and Fugen, that's not sex as in S-E-X, that's sex as in the number six. Uh, six preludes and fugues, number one, C major, prelude only.
it doesn't <coughs> excuse me it doesn't have to be big and noisy all the time that's a rather cute piece of music isn't it i like that i like that it's got a, it doesn't sound when you play it like that it doesn't sound typical sort of german romantic it sounds like a, almost sort of could be something by Sanson, couldn't it? It's almost French in character. I rather like that. I think I shall practice that properly. What does the fugue do? Oh, it starts in the pedals. Ignore that, right. Uh, so there's six of these. This one is in, eight, is in, uh, H, in B minor. Uh, ooh, that looks nice and fast. E major, oh, my favorite key. Um, Hate E major, A minor. That could be quite music. That looks quite nice. Uh, number five in E flat major, nice and slow. Yeah, that, that looks quite nice actually. What he's up to here? What's this? F sharp minor. Oh God, that's a horrendous key. Let's ignore that. Anyway, wasn't that a cute piece of music? I hope you liked it. I thought that was rather nice. So. Very nice as digital toys. Right, let's have a look and see who's here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. And also, let's see if we've been doing any, doing any goodies with our, with our tiki talkies. Now, ladies and gentlemen, time is closing in on us. Um, last night, I mentioned to you, we're doing, I'm doing a special little something for Valentine's Day. However, not here on the channel. I'm doing it privately for you. Go and check out what was called, go and check out what was called, uh, what are called the commissions on my Buy Me A Coffee page. Someone put up a link to that, please. Um, it's Valentine's Day on the 14th of February and traditional Valentine's presents are boxes of chocolates, flowers, let's go out for dinner with a loved one, that kind of thing. All of those things are fleeting moments that are over in a whim, yeah? Now what I'm offering is something that lasts a lifetime, a personalized video recorded by me. It could be here, it could be on the piano. I'm not going to do anything more than that. Um, taking your favorite melodies, I will play around with them, uh, improvise around with them, make a specially commissioned performance, private performance just for you or your, you and or your loved one. It will be uploaded privately so only you have access to it and it will be there forever. Just something different, I think you will agree. Something different. So far, we've had one taker. One taker. Now, that's fine. There's plenty of time up to Valentine's Day to get that done. That's fine. So I've got plenty of time for it. But, 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 if we're going to get it done, we've got to get it done soon. Now, I can't do, I can't do too many of those recordings every day, but we, you know, we can get there. We can get there. It's limited anyway. It's limited to a certain number of videos, quite simply because time is of the essence. But... See what you think. See what you think. Right. So who's here this evening? Let's have a look and say hello to whoever is in the gang of Garchos. Actually, first of all, let's have a look at the generous donators who are buying tickets in the background. Stefan M. Thank you very much to Stefan M. To Alexander. Thank you very much to Alexander. To our friend Jurg. The streaming server seems to be exhausted. Oh. Not here, it's not. Everything's working beautifully. Seems to be working here. And Uncle Jerry as well. Thank you very much to the three of you. Thank you very much. Now, who's this? This is David. Thank you very much to David S. I have to say David S because there's a few Davids out there. And who's this? This is Uwe. Oh, Uwe, thank you very much indeed. Very kind of you. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely, lovely. Right, now I saw something on the other one here. Over on Buy Me A Coffee, our friend Max has bought some coffees for the extensive electrical bill that the equipment uses. Now that is not a bad point, Max. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of people, I got a nasty comment the other day. I'm not gonna say who it was by, but someone was saying, oh, I was asking for, this. This might appear to be a hobby for some people. It's not a hobby for me. This is my living. This is my living. This is what I do for a job. Uh, ah, but you work as a church musician. Yes, that's true. But do you want to know what I make as a church musician? It doesn't pay anything. It doesn't even pay for one tank full of fuel for the car per month. It doesn't. That's how much a church musician gets paid in Germany. It's pathetic. Um, it really is, actually. Uh, I should make a video about that sometime. Um, so this is what we're doing for a living. This is what I'm trying to do to, you know, to make a living out of it. So, you know, anything that comes in, it's all invested somehow into this. And we're very grateful to all of you for your help. Helps us out. 
a very squeaky bicycle just drove past the window, or rode past the window. That's weird, isn't it? The Platz gang have contributed to something on my wish list. Oh, yes, we're running out of space on our NAS over there, our uh, network attached storage. So I will be adding to the hard drives on that. There are four free drives which I will be adding to at some point. So thank you very much for that. That's very kind indeed. All these videos that we're creating are being recorded and archived forever. Pretty good, eh? Pretty good. Right, that's that. Uh, okay. Uh, Marco, uh, I just received your email. Thank you very much. I'm not sure I'm allowed to do that. Um, we have to check that with the other person. So tell the other person to get in touch with me and then we can do that. You know how it works. Anyway, right, where were we? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, more tickets are arriving even as I speak. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Who's this? Ooh, my friend Joe has requested something for his delicious Marie for Valentine's Day. There we are then, I see. He's doing it, he's doing it privately and not via buy me a copy. Thank you, Joe. I will get in touch with you and we will sort that out. Donald, thank you for your ticket. Who's this? Nancy, thank you for your ticket. And who's this? Andrew. Thank you for your ticket as well. That's very kind. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Things are moving. Let's say hello to the punters in the audience this evening. I love that word. I don't use it often enough because I don't get to speak English very often these days. Jim is here. Hi, Jim. Good chappy is here. Good evening. Two nights in a row. Yes, we love seeing you here. I, have you uploaded anything new recently? Go and check out Good Chappy's videos. There's some amazing videos on his channel too. They're a little old, but we need some new stuff up there too. But wonderful stuff. Go and check out Good Chappy. Digital Toys, Jeff Ryer, Max Huber, Jez M, Joe Humans. Get the director back. I would love to get the director back. She's looking after babies at the moment. Mike is here. Uh, Georg Ellendorf is here. We have a wonderful request from George coming up soon. Lovely. Philip is here. Cassie is here. Oh, Cassie, you got a ticket on the other one, didn't you? Yes, you did. Uh, thank you, Cassie. Thank you. Uva uh, so, is here. That was Uva. And thank you again. Robert Varner is here. When will Fraser give his daughter piano and organ lessons? The earlier, the better. We got her a baby piano for her Christmas. And it, it, it's a baby piano. It's, it's only that size. That size. But it's real size keys. It's not baby size keys. It's real size keys. And she's already... She's already tapping out individual keys with both hands. So she's showing some talent already. Jeff Ryle said goodbye. Orgel has it is here. Hello, I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, Uza is here. Hi, Uza. Have I done everything right tonight? I do hope so. Jerry's here. Panlumita's here. Mike. Michael Becker is here. Alexander Wunderlich is here. You're all saying bye bye. And I haven't stopped. <laughs> uh, Gerhard Flink is here. Oh my goodness, that's something in Russian. I, 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 I wouldn't know how to pronounce that. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin something, Kevin, Kevin something in Russian. Hello, Kevin something in Russian. Utnabut, he said with a question mark. Yes, that's for Cam Platz. His Cam is originally from Canada, eh? Uh, <laughs> uh, who else is here? Who is David is here. Hello, David. There you ho, Joe Humans. Here's my ticket, sir. Gosh. I didn't see one. Or is that, is that another David then? I don't know. František is here. Hello. Julian Cleek is here. Peter King is here. Wolfgang Rotzka is here. David Miller is here. Rasbaz is here. Hi, Marco. Opus Drei is here. No theatre organ tonight. Hogwarts Express. I beg your pardon. Hogwarts Express. No trains here. Um, Xing Chang Chong is here. Uh, I'm just quickly running through, making sure I'm not missing anyone on the way past. I do hope I'm not. I tried looking another way who's online and it didn't work. Digital Toys, Carl Heyman, Carl Heyman. It's like Carl Sagan, the elliptical orbits of Mars. Anyway, that was Carl Sagan, wasn't it? Um, I'm not going to do impressions. I'm not going to do impressions. I'm not going to do impressions. I must not do impressions. I must not do impressions. Ian Miles. Hello, Ian Miles. Greetings from New Zealand. Ying Tong Idolai Po. Oh, no, he did it. You're going to get me into the goons again. Oh, I don't know. Right. Who else is here? Let's do it all in a goons voice. No, we're not going to do it in a goons voice. The iPad kid is here. Hello. What about Anna Lapwood? I don't know. What about Anna Lapwood? Um... I haven't seen much of her lately. Is she still around? 
Um, Peter King, Jeff Ryle, Carl Kepner, there's another Carl. Does he have elliptical orbits of Mars as well? I wonder. Uh, I'm going to stop. I promise. I'm going to stop. Is there anyone else here? Marketa is here. Hello. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm running. I'm rushing. We need to get on with the music, folks. We've got quite a concert here. Right. We're up to date. Who else is here? Anyone? Sasha. Hello, Sasha. Who are you? I'm in Ontario. Eh? Cool. Wonderful. Eccles. Good chappy. Are you in Eccles or do you want Eccles? If you want Eccles, speak to the king. He's the best Eccles impersonator I know. And don't ask me how I know that. Anyway. Anyway. Right. Now, back to the requests. Our friend Alexander, like I told you, sent me lots of things to play. Now, Alexander's quite cheeky. Alexander's a cheeky guy, but we love Alexander. And Alexander sent me this. And I thought, oh, it's a melody by Alfred Hollins. Now, I love the music of Alfred Hollins. Jerry's ears will be pricking up at this point. Um, a melo it's just called Melody, and it's by Alfred Hollins. And I looked at it, and I saw it was in A-flat major. And I thought no more of it. Until earlier this evening, when I was setting up, I looked at it again and thought, oh, bum, it's a trio. In other words, Three individual voices. Your right hand has an individual voice. Your left hand has an individual... You know what I mean. And your feet, your pedals, have an individual voice too. Sounds easy? It's not. There are independent, individual lines of music doing all sorts of exciting things. And it's not easy. However, I promised I would play this piece of music tonight. I stupidly said it last night. So, without further nonsense, I shall try my hardest to play basically a trio sonata by Dr. Alfred Hollins. Now, Alfred Hollins was a blind organist, originally from Yorkshire, and he worked most of his life in St. George's West in Edinburgh, um, down the west end of town, at the corner of Stafford Street, uh, where I used to live. I used to live on Stafford Street in Edinburgh, right in the middle of town. Lovely. Anyway, uh, but Dr. Hollins was organist in St. George's West for years and years and years and years and years. He was a blind organist, um, and he wrote some beautiful melodies. <laughs> and this is just simply entitled Melody. So let's see what I can make of it. We need a solo clarinet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, look what I have. I have a solo clarinet. And then we need soft flute eight. Well, I think we'll just have the swell flute eight for this. And... Yeah, I quite like that. And we'll have a soft sub bass there. We'll couple the swell down to it. And I think that will do us nicely. Here, ladies and gentlemen, is the melody in A flat by Dr. Alfred Hollins, sight read by me, and it's a trio sonata. This could go two ways. Let's find out which one it goes.
Phew! Who am I glad that's over? <laughs> that was not easy at all. Boah! I hope you could hear what was it. Let me show you what was going. This is just the left hand and the pedals. This is what I mean about it being a trio, yeah? There's all this. It's quite easy to do it all by itself. And at the same time, you've got the solo melody. I'm already wrong. <laughs> nah. You couldn't hear the swearing I was doing while I was playing it. And so on and so on and so on. Yeah, so all these independent lines. You shouldn't sight read things like that, really. You should practice them. Um, and you practice each part independently, then you sort of gradually put it together. But that's actually a really nice way to learn a trio, because it's a beautiful melody that makes life easier. And I was about to say it's easy because it's only an A-flat, but that's no... He modulates all over the place. He was very good at that, was Dr. Hollins. Mmm, very good. Thank you, Alexander. I like that. Very good. Nice piece of music. Jan, thank you for your ticket on the way past. Thank you, Jan. And thank you also to Christian for all the wonderful music he wrote in the, in the comment. Thank you very much indeed. That's very kind of you. Right. <sighs> What's happening in the statistics this evening? In the statistics. I can't see how many likes we've got because for some reason, for some reason, click, for some reason it's not telling me. So I have to trust you when you say there's only 70 odd likes tonight. <gasps> We've had 640 odd clicks so far. There are 138 of you currently in the chat live, apparently, and uh, only 77 likes. Tut tut, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you, the more you like these videos by doing a thumbs up thing, the more YouTube goes, oh, who's this? And sends it around the world for other people to see. Mm. Oh, gosh, that was exciting. I like that. Melody by Alfred Hollins. I like. Now, I promised you a bizarre piece of music. <laughs> this I rather like the look of. I have no idea what this is, but I rather like it. Um, uh, well, it says here it's an Oxfordshire County song. I, however, know it as a Wiltshire County song. And it's all about, it's all about uh, an, an, a pesky fly. I wonder will anybody out there know this? Oh, we're on 95. Thanks, good chappy. Um, we're getting there. That's better. Um, the fly, the fly is on the turmet, it says here, which means the fly is on the turnip. I, I think the original title is I said the fly be on the turnip, turmet, I think is the original title. It was on a jolly summer's morn, 21st of May. Giles Scroggins took his turmet hoe with which he trudged away. For some delights in haymaking, and some they fancies mowing. But of all the trades, as I like best, give I the termit hoeing. Now, when they say hoeing, it doesn't mean what the Americans might think. It means taking a garden implement and scraping things out of the ground. Yes, a termit hoeing is therefore turnip hoeing, digging up turnips. For the fly, the fly, the fly is on the termit. And it's all my eye for we to try to keep fly off the termit. That's about as good as my Wiltshire accent gets. It's not quite southwest, but it's getting that way. And um, yeah, sort of pe real people from Salisbury, not the posh people who've moved there, real people from Salisbury would kind of talk like that a little bit. Not maybe not a, maybe not quite like that. That's further down. That's actually more Norfolk, but never mind. Let's ignore it. Twas on a jolly summer's morning, the twenty-first of May. That reminds me, there was an old Bernard Cribbins song. Was what was it called? It was just called Madrigal, wasn't it? Bernard Cribbins and the Madrigal. He put on a Wiltshire accent for that. Anyway, this was a request by Good Chappie, the flyby in the term. He knows it. 
Perfect. I've been watching the Salisbury Organist channel. No, I haven't. Who's the Salisbury Organist channel? I don't know that. I don't know it. Anyway, our friend Georg Ellendorf requested this and he sent me the piece of music himself. He sent it to me. Um, so I wonder what it's all about. Who or what then is the Salisbury Organist channel? What's that then? I wonder. Anyway, I don't know. I don't actually watch much organ content on YouTube, it has to be said. I know it's a bit naughty, isn't it? Because I'm an organist, I tend not to watch other organists. Um, I spend all my time on YouTube watching things about cars, because I love cars. That's my hobby, you see. Cars are my hobby. This is my job. Um, when you go home at, after a day's work, you don't watch YouTube stuff about your work, do you? Probably not. <laughs> Right then, Georg Ellendorf, für dich. The fly is on the termit.
Sorry, I got carried away there with my fly on my turnip. Gosh, I hope you enjoyed that. That's quite a... It's quite a sound. It doesn't exist on the real organ. You only get this. <laughs> but that's pretty good. Now, apparently, according to my dear friend Jerry, the actual imperial trumpet on the actual organ in the actual building is nowhere near as quiet as that. <laughs> It's all enveloping. It bursts eardrums. It has been known to, well, I, I imagine it has been known to scare the living daylights out of frail old ladies from Blackburn. Actually, that's not true because there's no such thing as a frail old lady from Blackburn. How, have you ever been to Blackburn? There's no such thing as a frail old lady. They are tough in there. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a good way. Anyway, what a wonderful, fun piece of music. Georg Ellendorf. Thank you very much. I love that. Thank you. Thank you, George. Splendid. Ah, oh, that was fun. Who else enjoyed that? I enjoyed that. I'm out of breath now. All this jumping around between manuals. I must be getting old. Mm. Actually, that's not true. We're incredible. Look at this. I'm busting out of my shirt tonight. Uh, we had far too much dinner tonight, Vanessa and I. Um, living in Germany, it's almost impossible to get good Indian food. There are restaurants there, but they're crap. Um, they're all right. You know, they'll do in a, in a hurry. Um, but nothing like a proper... But let's, put, let's put it like this. The best Indian restaurant in Germany is nowhere near as good as the worst Indian restaurant anywhere in the United Kingdom. Let's put it like that. Um, I suppose it's all to do with cultural history. Anyway, um, but the good old British Indian restaurant doesn't exist in Germany. And... Um, so, and I, I really miss my Indian food. So from time to time, I make a huge mess in the kitchen and we cook Indian. And tonight was such an occasion. And oh, we went mad. I made my own naan bread as well um, with a proper recipe. It was great that the bread was the best bit. But if you have lots of naan bread and then you have lots of chicken curry with lots of rice as well, and, and you don't wash it down with gallons of beer, it's pretty much a dry household here, um, there's no, you know, there's, there's, it's no chance. So it just lies in your stomach like this big mound of lump. And it's a big mound of lump. That's not a very good sentence, is it? But you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, oh, it, it's a bit heavy tonight. So, that's that. By the way, this was my impression of the fly. It's a, it's a naughty fly. I actually, I quite like that. And I quite... Ah, oh, that's the one with the, fa listen to that. I will switch that on again. If you're listening on headphones, you hear it. Suddenly the background noise. Hear that? Aha, that one hasn't been denoised very well, has it? This is why the organ's being resampled, you see? This is why our friend Sam, is resampling the organ, things like that. I didn't notice that before, but this is wonderful. It sounds like Jaws. <laughs> I like that. Does it sound even better with this one? Oh, that doesn't have get at you. That's right in your face, isn't it? Whew. That's scary. What about this one? That's not quite as scary. What about this one? Oh, that's nice and that's nice and round and warming. That was recorded using different microphones. Like you can feel it. What about the thirty-two foot? Nothing like a thirty-two foot read to get you going. Jeff Royal sounds after a curry. Yep, you're right. Or in this case. More of that. Yes, Sam Sleeth, you're right, good chappy. Sam Sleeth is the man himself. He is re-voicing the organ, even as we speak, as far as I know. Which is rather wonderful. Ha! Exciting. That, ladies and gentlemen, was a list of the requests we had so far. Hmm, a nice request here from our friend Jürg in Switzerland, which is rather nice. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? What's going on here? Oh my goodness, our discs, our additional discs are being catered for 
by Marie and Joe. Marie and Joe, thank you very much. Generous Marie and Joe. Gosh, we're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. Yes, we're getting there. Right, now, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very kind indeed. Okay, right, we're moving off. And we're going to move on to the fun element for the final 20 minutes left. The final 20 minutes of this evening's concert. Excuse me. Come on. There we are. Uh, now, what we have to do is find the pieces of music I'm looking for. I think we can get away with this. This is going to be copyright nonsense. I just know it is. Because I know <laughs> uh, these pieces of music well, it was only written in the 60s and the composer of it, Mr. Hermann, is, uh, well, is he still around actually? No, I don't think he's still around, but uh, um, he's not gone that long. So this is a copyright number, but a long requested jazzy number for all fans of Mr. Armstrong, Satchmo himself. It's the legendary...
Hello. Hello, Dolly. I love that. It sounds good on a huge cathedral organ, doesn't it? It sounds over the top on a huge cathedral organ. Uh, I love these things because they just work. Who dis? Who dis? Ooh, I mustn't read. Oh, not the real name, ladies and gentlemen. This, ooh, that's a nice idea. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the legendary Urza Meyer. Urza Meyer requesting a beautiful piece of music as we get towards the end of this evening's celebrations. Shall we do it now before I forget? Let's do it now before I forget. <gasps> this is lovely. One of my favorite pieces of music, a ballad in the key of E flat. There are many. Let me demonstrate. Um, key of E flat is beautiful for ballads. Um, for example, we've got... Uh, someone to watch over you, me. Someone will watch over me. And you got all those lovely chords. That's one. Um, spread a little happiness, John. Spread a little happiness as you go by. Um, somewhere. That's also in E flat. Um, let me see, what other beautiful ballads are in the key of E flat? Misty. <laughs> All that kind of crazy Errol Garner stuff. Uh, yeah, Misty, that's in E flat. Actually, it's in D flat if you're Errol Garner, but it's in E flat for mere mortals like us. Um, let me see. What else? There are more. Give me time and I'll think of them. Ah, but anyway, let's do the one that our friend Urza requested. A beautiful piece of music from the centre of London's Mayfair district. It is, of course, a nightingale sang in Berkeley Square. Berkeley Square, famous for various things. Parking in the evenings, free of charge. You can always find a parking space in Berkeley Square at night. Always. Two places you can always find a parking space in London, and this is true. It's true because I've tested it. I used to be in London a lot in the days before stupid things like congestion charges and all that bollocks. Um, you used to just be able to drive your car into London and then park it somewhere. Now, of course, you can't even do that. Anyway, let's not be political. In the good old days, you could just drive in and if you were stuck for a parking place, Savile Row, it's true, Savile Row, you could always find a parking space any time of day, perfect. Several row. Um, and towards the evening, Barclay Square. And if Barclay Square was full, you just snip down to the mall or down to, down to where the foreign office is. Down there, you will always find a parking space there if you're in the centre of London. Always. It's, it's just written in stone. So there you are. That's where I used to park anyway. And it, but it always, it always worked. Always, always, always. Anyway, Barclay Square. Junk, Jack Barclay, Rolls-Royce and Bentley dealership, also based in Barclay Square. I used to stand and look in the window and think, one day, and then, probably not. Anyway, a nightingale sang in Barclay Square.
a nightingale sang somewhere in Barclay Square. Nanette. Nanette. Is that a piece of music? It does ring a bell. M N O N. It rings a bell. It rings a bell. It rings a bell. Why does that ring a bell? It's not in this book. It rings a bell. Let's play this instead then. Um, something else beginning with N. Highly politically incorrect in this day and age, but who cares? It's me. Um, where is it? There it is. Wonderful piece of music. Um, Harry Warren and whatever his name was. What was his name? Dixon. Harry Warren and... Aha! Not Reg Dixon. <laughs> that would be good, wouldn't it? Harry Warren and somebody Dixon. Back in the 20s, I'm guessing 28, 29, something like that. Certainly before the 40s, but never mind. 1920s, late 20s. Mm. A wonderful piece of music about nightlife in a certain Japanese town. It's called... Nagasaki. <laughs> Nagasaki. Nagasaki. I love the harmonies of this. Down in Nagasaki where the women smoke tobacco and the where the ah down in Nagasaki where the women smoke tobacco and the and the women wiki wacky woo, whatever that means. This is 1920 slang for naughty things, I suppose. But down in Nagasaki where the fellas smoke tobacco, that's it. Where the fellas smoke tobacco and the women wiki wacky woo. Whatever that means. Uh I don't know what that was, it was very camp, wasn't it? 
Anyway, that was Nagasaki with its wonderfully politically correct words from the 1920s. Don't we love things like that? Why change history? Anyway, um, that, ladies and gentlemen, was Sunday night is, was, could have been, organ music night. I do hope you enjoyed our selection of tunes this evening from the magnificent Blackburn Cathedral with its amazing instrument, beautifully sampled here for help work. <laughs> and currently being revoiced for Hope Works, so it's going to become even better. What's being redone, the way the pipes... The way the pipes speak, and also the releases of the pipes, they're all being resampled to sound even better. Um, amazing. And I'm going to be having a chat to Sam, Sam Sleeth, about this soon, um, who's hopefully going to tell us a little bit about what's involved. He isn't going to let us into any secrets, of course, um, but he's going to be telling us a bit of what's involved. I'm very much looking forward to that, presenting it to you also. And uh, yes, yeah, it's going to be fun. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was it. I wish you a very pleasant week. Tick tock, tick tock, time is running out. If uh, you are around this part of Germany, do come and join me next Saturday evening live in Herschbach, where it's the carnival carnival evening service the german carnival where we do all the crazy carnival music everyone dresses up in carnival costumes i don't i just get to play the carnival music on the organ it's hilarious if you're around saturday at 6 p.m in Herschbach. and if you are around just come up to the organ don't hang about downstairs you won't get space anyway next week you'll have to come up to the organ anyway there you are so that's that um Anything else? Yes, don't forget, Valentine's Day is coming soon, so if you want your little special prezi, you know where to check it out. All right, folks, that was it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your generosity. Thank you for your chit-chat. I, I don't really get a chance to read the chat these days. Um, I just sort of see, I just sort of fly over who's in it. So um, a huge thank you to um, Uza Mayer. <laughs> to Cam and to Joe, who are the blue wrenches here. They're the ones monitoring the chat, keeping an eye on it, making sure we're all being perfectly pleasant. Um, they can't monitor me, though, so I can say what I want. <laughs> um, but that's my show, so there you are. That's the way it works. Anyway, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. If you're still out, if you're still awake in two hours' time, go and check out Aaron Shows over in Los Angeles, see what he's up to. He goes live in two hours' time. Um, and then, yeah. If we don't see you through the week, we'll see you through a window. Night-night, everybody. Mm -hmm.